across libraries. Even when these universities declined during the British period, books never lost their charm. Our ancient texts on Vedas, Upanishad, Puranas, Ayurveda, astronomy, mathematics, and medicines enrich the wall of books. That is our high tradition. We are proud of our book, writers and readers. The thriving publishing industry indicates a vibrant community of writers and readers. Friends, India is perhaps the only country in the world which publishes books in 22 languages. Multilingualism defines our diversity, which is integral to our national life. It is heartening that this year's theme is Multilingual India, a living tradition. Under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, the country is embarking on a remarkable socio-economic and cultural renaissance to achieve the goal of Vikasit Bharat <coughs> at 2047. We are deeply aware that language and books are our assets. All Indian languages are spoken by our brothers and sisters in different parts of the country. No language is big or small, superior or inferior. As Honorable Prime Minister has said, all Indian languages are our national language. Sabi Bharatiya Bhasa, Rashtriya Bhasa hai. Under the national education policy, Learning in native language and mother tongue has been given primacy for greater understanding of the complex issue. We have embarked on a major project to translate the English textbooks in engineering and technical courses into several Indian languages. We are using AI translation tools duly validated by qualified translation experts to come out with authentic translated teaching and learning materials for our students. Apart from the translation literatures, there is a rich inventory of Indian language writings. This book pair provides a glimpse of the rich multilingual literature from 22 scheduled languages as well as about 100 other languages. The 21st century has witnessed an extraordinary explosion of knowledge. Technology is fast changing a seamless world with generative AI and chat GPT the world knowledge has witnessed a sea change. People may think that technology has impacted the publishing of books and reading habits, but it is not entirely correct. Publishing industry has witnessed boom at the <coughs> same time. There is now new interest in, re in e reading. Recognizing this new trend, we have today released Rashtriya e Pustakale. It is a first of its kind digital library being introduced as an app and web-based platform for developing reading habit in, the, in students and contains books outside their regular academics. It contains more than 1,000 books from all 22 lang scheduled languages along with English. Going ahead, the holding of Rashtriya e Pustakale will grow exponentially to cater to the vast and varied reading appetite of our children. It is a tourism that we are promoting e-reading habits, keeping the growing for preference for ease of reading among the young readers. Today, we have launched e-Jadui Pitara. Jadui Pitara is a transformative initiative of the NCA foundational stage, fostering learning through play during crucial growth years. The digital version will complement the physical Jadui Pitara box. Ab har ghar har school mein Jadui Pitara pohunchega. Friends, as we are our, our Honorable Prime Minister has authored a book titled Exam Warriors, incorporating unique anecdotes, mantras of student, for students, parents and teachers, and ways and means of the overcome exam stress. The NBT had published the translation of Exam Warriors book in 11 Indian languages last year. I am glad to see that this year Exam Warriors book has also been converted into the Braille book. This will benefit a lot of our Dibyanga children and youth. I am happy to see that under NEP 2020, all our initi initiatives, big or small, are moving with motto Sabka Saab, Sabka Bikas. 
friends i am also personally happy to see the launch of book on transformative initiative of honorable prime minister man ki baat igniting collective goodness man ki baat 800 is not only a book but a journey towards kindling the collective conscience of the people this book invites readers to delve into captivating conversation that have touched the lives of millions i'm sure the readers will find the content useful and engrossing today we have also a religious special module of on vikasit bharat g20 and nari shakti these events will capture the spirit of new india besides a new series of creative intellectual heritage which is a knowledge initiative by our higher education institutions have also been released our higher education institutions have been organizing dialogue and documentation workshop on themes like financial inclusion renewable energy holistic healthcare with related research topics the final outcome of this deliberations has been produced in the form of study reports and called creative intellectual heritage i am thankful to nbt for bringing these reports for the benefit of our young readers as well as others friends book fair has always been exciting we have been waiting for the occasion to launch so many of so many of our products i hope these readers will find them useful and interesting as far as india is concerned book will never lose this charm as the knowledge century further unfolds the book alone will help us define our identity and navigate into future let us remember that book is an intellectual product not a commodity book writing publishing and selling therefore cannot just be commerce it has to be a labor of love as we envision to realize the goal of vikasit bharat we need to nurture a book loving and book reading society that fosters forward looking ideas and help build a progressive social order i am delighted i am delighted to announce the opening of new delhi world book fair 2024 i hope you all you all will enjoy the fair and take back not only books jodi apan ko am video ti bhal lagila tebe am channel ko like share aur subscribe karipa ko jama bhi bolantu nahi